presenting their program checkmate, WGI Sport of the Arts is proud to present Hempfield High School. Oh my gosh, what's the Netflix show called that we based it on? The chess one. So Queen's Gambit was an option, Gambit was an option, but then we thought it would be too much like X-Men. We called it Checkmate. <laughs> and so then we just settled on Checkmate. We really didn't know, I feel like it wasn't until we finished it, we didn't know who was going to win. The pit was, oh, the fun part was the pit in the back, that was really cool, and then we figured yeah, out that well, that was not good, and then we moved them forward. Because we asked somebody at that show, the music judge was talking about the battery the whole time, we're like, what about the pit? And he's like, I didn't notice them. Like, They're back there. Okay, well, and we should probably fix that because they're pretty good. Yeah. So. Last year there was 34 members in the ensemble, which yeah. actually made it a little weird because there's 32 chess pieces, so we ended up having to have 10 white pawns yeah. just because that was the easiest costume to replicate. 17 in 17 the pit? 17 half of it was pit. Yeah, 17 in half the pit, 17 in the battery. Um, or no, 15 in the battery and two um, dancers. Yeah. We didn't have too many seniors graduate last year. We, I mean, we lost both tenor players, um, a snare drummer, yeah, I mean, we did not take too big of a hit last year. Yeah, yeah, we had a great season. Um, I think we we won every KIDA show we were at, which was cool. And then actually, at, when at Dayton too, that was our first time for Hempfield and all of Hempfield to have made finals. Um, and we placed. We're third in prelims, fourth in semis, and then and in eighth overall. Eighth overall, which is crazy. Yeah. So. Well, last year we had almost. The same staff we have now. New staff we have Brian, which we're super excited to have on board. Brian with a Y. Yes, two Brian's. And uh, is there anybody new? Anybody else new this year? Yeah. Oh, pit staff. Duh. No, Alexi and Finn uh, slash Devin, uh, both on pit staff, uh, and Jackie. Everyone knows Jackie, I think. So. And it's actually I'm really thankful we have a visual staff. We have Brian Selman and also Miranda Moyer. With an I. Well, yeah, that's Brian with an I. Yeah, but I think between this fall and last indoor, like everybody, everybody's returning, which is nice to have, you know, consistent staff from year to year. The boosters do a lot for us, which is awesome. They, they load trucks, they drive the trucks, they unload the trucks, they push the equipment around. They, they feed us. They feed us, they, they feed fundraise. Us um, we had really good breakfast in Dayton. I think I ate like six pop tarts the morning of prelims. It's also super cool. The boosters are super, are such a large part of what we do. Um, along with the parents, we have an army of people behind us on top of the kids. It's like insane um, and super impressive. Well, I mean, like the biggest thing too is is the support in the stands. Like that's always good to have, regardless of whether we're at a local show like 20 minutes from school or we're in Ohio eight and a half hours away. Like having a big cheering section really does a lot for the kids, which is nice. Yeah. Thanks for a great year last year. We had an awesome fall last year that led us into a really successful indoor season. Uh, we've had another successful fall this year, so you know we're really excited to get started with this new year and um, excited for all the, the parents and the volunteers and the, the pushers and the prop builders and the instructional staff and the students and um, just like the whole community of Hemfield Indoor Percussion. We're excited to get started and have a great year. Indoor drumline. Indoor drumline. Indoor drumline is drums. Drums in a gym. Drums in a gym. Noise. Drums in a gym. Drums in a gym. People. Percussion. Inside. Friendship. Community. No, I have no idea what's going okay. on here. <laughs> Band. Indoor Drumline is the best activity I've ever taken a part of. It's one of the most artistic activities that I think I've ever been a part of. Indoor Drumline is an activity that takes the percussion section of the marching band, puts them inside a gym, and adds um, a lot more of the, the artistry of body movements and melodic figures through just the percussive instruments. 
theatrics, and musicality. Passion, freedom, and happiness. Basically, it's the percussion sections of outdoor marching band moved inside. The best parts of marching band, we get together in a gym. Get a lot of creative freedom more so than maybe marching band. The drum line gets to show off. It's, it's like our competition. It's, it's what we do. It's just a fun time. That's indoor drum line. The indoor show is about some drummers that do some things and then they do some other things and then they get out of the gym quickly. What is it about? I don't even know like everything that it's about. About a lot of things, but not a lot of things at the same time. It's a show and that's all I got. What happens in the indoor show? I'll tell you what happens in the indoor show. Action. Action? So, we're in the thick of it. Opener, cruising through, snares coming out, right? We've got a lot of like action and fighting and like a pretty cool storyline. The discovery of something new. Science. Overcoming. Grieving. And then they get captured, and then they escape. Perseverance. It's gonna be sick. The indoor show is about a tragedy um, mixed in with a lot of conflict, and uh, one might say a search for home. Yeah. Now you know. The color scheme is very earthy, um, with a hint of bright color. It's almost like desert meets grass meets the sun. There is blue and there is gold and there is black and there is gold. Every color in the rainbow is in the show. I know one color for sure, and it's like a blue, green, tealish color. Uh, there's a lot of neutral colors with some fluorescent bluish, greenish. I was not in any of the design meetings. I really don't know what the colors are for this show. I think there's, I think there's like an accent color of teal. And there's a little bit of like beige. And I think at some point we'll have some red showing maybe. And then probably some silvers in there, maybe some greens. But definitely that blue green pop. There's some teal in there. That's, I don't, I don't really know much else. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be a good number of colors. Um, some blues and grays and maybe some granite colors. <laughs> Black and I think it's a blue. I think, right? But yeah, so like the blue and the gold and the and the mint and the black and the purple. There are definitely props, some of them very large and interactive. Um, they might move, there might be performers in them or on them. There are two props that I know of. One is a cylinder, and the other is like a triangle trapezoid. Five climbable props. I cannot disclose that information at this time. Yeah, there's a lot of props, like a lot of props. Um, some of them are going to be backdrops. Some of them are going to be triangular in shape. Some of them are not going to be triangular in shape, but there's a lot of props. Uh, I don't know anything about the props. There's definitely um, some tubes, some uh, maybe a big cylinder, a disc kind of shape. Possibly only two climbable props. <laughs> We're working on that one. <laughs> we do have some props, more than last year, if that helps anyone. There are a few props. Perhaps a special vehicle and a climbing device of some kind. Uh, I've heard a lot of a lot of good ideas coming in. Um, just some different scenery. We do have a lot of props in this show. I know that you you've actually seen the props before because we bought them from another school that was warming up next to us at that BOA show we went to in outdoor. So that's where we found our props. Um, so I mean that's cool. The, your your dads don't have to build them now, at least, at least not not like from scratch anyway. We're competing in KIDA and WGI. We're returning to Dayton this year. We're excited about that. We're going to many shows in many places, and a few circuits. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of good things coming. We compete in the local KIDA circuit. Shout out to KIDA president, Mr. Carraher. Shows, man. Yeah, drumline shows going out. I think uh, first leg's going to be with ACDC. We're uh, performing at WGI this year. We have two regionals, I think, is on the schedule. I think we're going uh, to a couple different states. We're going to do two regionals this year. So I've never known an A-class school to go to two different WGI regionals, so that's going to be cool. Surprise! Blink-182 just got back together. We're the opening act. Stoked. And going to Dayton as well, so th that will be our big national test on a national scale. And we end the season with going to Dayton for nationals. I think we've earned that spot to, to compete against those units. We're going to the Central Dolphin Show and the Lower Dolphin Show and the Redland Show and KDA Championships. And then we're also going to the Trumbull Regional for WGI and we're going to the Monroe Township Regional for WGI and then to Dayton. And we're staying in a nicer hotel this year. Can you read that for me? Yes. No, I know, but I meant like, do I have to? Read that. Oh, that's a lot of words. <laughs> and I just read it. <clears throat> this is good. <clears throat> Imagine this. In every sci-fi film, what does a UFO do? Crash. 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 We begin in a remote classified area in the middle of the desert and... Something never seen before has occurred. A crash site looms in the distance. Outside of a top secret research facility. As researchers begin to descend on the site... A race of advanced beings exits their crippled ship. Relief is on the horizon as they seek the scientists' aid unknowingly that the scientists have a much darker, even slightly sinister, intention. The capturing begins. The capture begins. The capture begins. The capture begins. Confined, unconscious, and alone. The aliens are helpless as they are studied and experimented on. However, the scientists underestimate the aliens will and soon they break free from these tanks, escaping the clutches of the scientists. Regrouped and filled with rage, the aliens need not converse of the next step. Revenge! Revenge. 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 Without hesitation, they're up in arms, barreling toward the lab. All is laid to ruins. Now all that's left is getting home. And that's 51. 51. 51. And that's 51.